talk about some of your emotions, you know, uh, just coming back home, uh, making your announcement here today. I mean, coming back home is going to be great, I think, man. Um, you know, once again, I loved it at Ole Miss. Coaching staff, the atmosphere, everything, everything was great. Right. You know, but I had a little girl. I felt like family was a little bit more important, just being closer. You know, there's no closer than the University of South Carolina right, right now for me. So that's what I told you. I understand uh, being home to be closer to your mother was kind of an important deal with this as well. Um, I guess, what's it going to be like just having, I guess, a little maybe more of a support staff around, you know, former uh, teammates, uh, former coaches and stuff around as well? Man, I think it would be a lot of fun, man. Also, when you feel like when, when you lose a game, you're going to also hear about it more than when you lose right. one at Ole Miss, you know, as far as criticism or you should have did this, you should have did that, but I can deal with that. Right, um, I understand going back, uh, South Carolina recruiting you out of high school. Uh, kind of what was the deal there, and what was it about Ole Miss that made it kind of your uh, decision? It was just, and, they were, um, you know, South Carolina was going through a coaching change. You know, didn't know who Warren was really. Right. And you know, I know that he had went to the um, Sweet 16. He had a good track record. But, um, you know, Coach Kenny and them, they were currently undefeated when I committed to him. You know, I watched <laughs> their games, you know. I knew him. I knew him through Devin Downey because Devin went to Cincinnati. He coached him for a year. So it, it kind of went through that. All right. Is there, um, is there any hard feelings at all about kind of how the situation went with the release and the appeal and you not being released to South Carolina or Clemson? I mean, I, I say there's no hard feelings probably with me and, and the coaching staff, you know. But I, I feel like the coaching staff didn't too have too much to do with that. That's the athletic director's job, you know. Right. So I got no hard feelings. Man. They're just trying to do – do what's best for him, and that's not, you know, trying to play me, but that's what we probably have to play each other. All right, uh, well, in that same light, when you do play Ole Miss, uh, is there a little bit of extra, uh, you know, fuel to the fire in that uh, game? Man, I don't know. Like, when I played <laughs> South Carolina, it was a little bit of extra right. fuel to the fire. That's just because, you know, you're playing against someone you played against before, and, you know, you know them. So that's the only reason. So maybe some bragging rights against the old players at Ole Miss, you know? That's it, just, just for my friends and stuff like that. Nothing personal. Right. Um, who do you know from this current South Carolina team right now? Uh, I don't know anybody personally. I know, you know, I know Sam, them, but I know I knew Devin and Sam. I know them personally. Right. Yeah, but I don't know anybody now personally. Okay, and uh, I guess as far as you talked about Horn's up style system, yeah. how do you kind of see yourself fitting in with uh, his, uh, I, his deal? I see, I see myself fitting in good. Andy Kennedy, Coach Kennedy, we also ran up. You know, up and down system. I felt like I did. You know, I did. I was successful in that system, so I think I succeeded in this one also. All right, and uh, finally, just uh, you know, you talked about playing in front of the Gamecock fans mm -hmm. in the other interview. Um, do you have any message for the Gamecock fans? Maybe uh, what they're going to get out of you? Oh maybe? man, just going to get a hard work every night. Man. I'm bringing every night. You know? No, no days off.